The function of the neurons in the nervous system is to conduct the signals. They start with receiving the signal, then propagating it along the distances and finally passing it to the target cells. Beautifully, the structure of a typical neuron is designed exactly to perform these tasks. First of all, neurons are cells only, so the structure of neurons has a cell body containing nucleus and ribosomes. That means these are the genetic information and machinery of protein synthesis for different cellular operations, energy production, metabolism and so many other functions. Now to perform the first task which is the receiving of signals. To do this the cell body of neurons has outgrowths called as dendrites. The membrane of these dendrites contain receptors to receive the signals from chemical messengers and these chemical messengers are called as neurotransmitters and these are actually released by nearby neurons. Once the signal is received, the next step is to propagate it along the distance. The structure of neuron that does it is a long process starting from cell body and is called exon. The signal received by dendrites actually is in chemical form but it is propagated in the form of an electrical signal or a voltage through an exon which is why the structure of a neuron requires a place to generate an electrical signal and this place is called as the exon hyloc which is actually the junction point between the cell body and the exon. Now signal is received, it is propagated by using the exon. So, the next task is to pass these signals to the next neurons or to the target cells. Since this passing signal is again in the form of chemical messengers called as neurotransmitters, neurons again require particular structures to release these neurotransmitters and these structures are called as exon terminals. Now, exon terminals take up calcium ions from outside and in turn, they release neurotransmitters with the help of calcium dependent vesicles. So we have done three types of functions, receiving the signals, propagating it and passing it to next neurons or the target cells. Now let's talk about specialized structures. The problem, there is a huge problem with conducting an electrical signal that is the danger of losing the energy or losing the voltage along the long distance. The biological system certainly does not want it, so it wraps the exon with the multi-layered modified plasma membrane called as myelin sheath. So the myelin sheath helps in efficient conduction of electrical signal while conserving energy. Now from where this myelin sheath is coming, it is actually formed by nearby cells called as glial cells. And they are also called as Schwann cells in the peripheral nervous system or oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system. These cells are also very important for the development, maintenance and the function of neurons. Finally, the propagating electrical signal should be lightning fast. So you cannot have a continuous flow of signal. Instead of that, you need the jumping of the signal. And this jumping of the signal performed with the help of nodes between the myelin sheath and these nodes are called as nodes of Renvier. The specialized conduction of electrical signal is called as saltatory conduction where the signal is jumping between the nodes. Now I am summarizing the whole thing again. You receive the signal by the receptor present in the dendrites in form of chemicals. Now you generate the electrical signal at the junction point called as exon hillock. Then you propagate it by using the exon. Now finally you pass the signal to next type of cells with the help of exon terminals which are releasing the neurotransmitters using calcium dependent vesicles. Now to stop the loss of signal or to stop the loss of energy you use the myelin sheath which is actually modified membrane and this myelin sheath is formed by the nearby glial cells called as Schwann cells or, or oligodendrocytes. Now, the signal should be fast 
lightning fast it should be jumping which is called a saltatory conduction and that is done between the nodes of Ranvier. I hope you have enjoyed learning the structure of neurons while correlating it with the functions. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.